cheers, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Bourbon Booze. It is cocktail time, and today we are going to go back to the book of cocktails. Uh -huh. The book of cocktails. Never mind. <laughs> so we've been uh, kind of straight away from that, but we're going to go back to that. Um, I suggest all of you out there um, get a really good book that has cocktails in it. Obviously, we do our own, and we have this huge stack of cards um, that we make um, for our cocktails as well as cocktails that we really like. We try to do one for every episode. But it's really good to have a good book, and we have like five or six cocktail books, but this is one of our favorite ones. This, well, we'll go through this one yeah. and then go through the other ones. This is the Essential Cocktail Book and a Complete Guide to Modern Drinks with 150 Recipes by Megan uh, Krig, Krigbaum. Hopefully I said that, or Krigbaum. Uh, and it's kind of blue. And I've had this a long time. I felt I've a long time. But watch, like I'll that. look. It probably was made last year. No, you've had it a couple years. Yeah. There's actually no... Essentially since we started doing on. cocktails. So, um, I suggest you all get a cocktail book. We also do a lot of internet cocktails and stuff like that, but you can't go wrong with a good cocktail book. Nope. So today, oh, if you like our cocktails, please, it's really important that you hit that like, um, but even more important that you subscribe so you can catch up on all of our cocktails, um, as well as our reviews of pretty much every liquor that we can get our hands on. A lot of whiskeys and coffees. So today we're going to go to the book of cocktails and we're going to do something that's a little bit out of our, um, I don't know, our wheelhouse, our comfort zone, which is something that we really like to do. Um, and we've learned to like some really good uh, drinks. Like we were kind of hesitant on Aperol or Campari. And now we're pretty big fans of that. Well, and absinthe, as you see. Yeah, and absinthe. I've actually really liked absinthe from the first time I tasted it. But Cody's not a big fan. But today we're going to do a, a cocktail that has absinthe called... Death in the Afternoon. Death in the Afternoon. I think it's a classic. Yep. And after this week, this might be a really good thing for me. That's why I chose it from the list of backup options. Yes. So what we're doing is... What? So since we're not the biggest absinthe people, we're going to do one quarter shot. Okay, one quarter ounce of absinthe. Mm -hmm. One quarter ounce absinthe. Is it going to be a rinse or is it just... It does not say that. Okay. So That's one quarter ounce of absinthe. Plant. Yep, one quarter ounce absinthe. You could do one half if you really like absinthe. Mm -hmm. no, the and then a dash of simple syrup. Just a dash of simple syrup. We're using the, I forget the brand, this brand uh, that we have. Um, this is an absinthe with wormwood, which you can legally buy in the US. Yeah, but it's still not the very traditional. Well, it's not the kind that makes you hallucinate, but. Well, I guess if you drink enough. Which is probably what the hallucination thing <laughs> came from, anyways, was too much drinking. Right. So a dash of simple syrup. And then top with champagne or dry sparkling white wine. Okay. Or sorry, just dry sparkling wine. Okay. So you're just, it's basically a champagne uh, drink. And so we're using Cook's. Um, we do have big bottles, but since it's just the two of us. Fizzy drinks. I like a lot of champagne, some dry champagne I don't really care for, but I love sparkling wines. Yeah, I like sparkling wines. I think that uh, maybe, possibly a Prosecco, but more of a um, Moscato might be better. This is California champagne. California champagne. Simple recipe, three items. Woo! It smells funky. It does. It smells like a... Well, it's definitely licorice. Licorice. It's a black licorice. It smells licorice. more like a licorice candy now. Yeah, more than absinthe. I mean, Normally absinthe does. is licorice, but yeah, it smells overly, overly like a black licorice. Hmm. Traditional black licorice candy. Yeah. I think it's because the uh, champagne made it less sweet smelling. Maybe. It 
Tastes just like a black licorice candy. Yeah, it's got some, uh... It, it does. It, it has that black licorice flavor to it, but it's also got that dry champagne. Not a lot of sweetness. No, it tanks down the sweetness quite a bit. Yeah, which you would expect. So Cook's is a dry champagne, I believe. Yeah, it's a brute. So um, the simple syrup, you think would have sweetened it a little bit? Maybe you it's, could add a little heavier dash yeah, if you want it sweeter. Be. I would definitely suggest like a Moscato or a something like that, a more sparkling. I would try doing this with a sweet Moscato, mm -hmm. personally. It's not bad. No. It's, it's, I could drink it. I could drink it too. I'm going to finish it. I it could is drink quite it good. Then. Yeah. And it probably, if you're not an absinthe person or even a licorice person, this might be a way to have absinthe and not be overly, I mean, the smell is overly licorice. The flavor is moderately licorice. Yeah. Hmm. But if you liked absinthe or champagne, yeah. or both, or licorice, you might like this. Yeah. And, and if you put, you know, a half ounce instead of a quarter ounce, like we did, it'll be even more licorice. So hopefully um, you give this a try, leave a comment what you thought of it or if there should be some sort of variation we should do um, and we do hope that you uh, will also leave comments about other things we could do it's at this point in the show that Cody usually goes and ruins the drink he's drinking by adding rye I'm not doing that I've done that with a uh, <laughs> Prosecco before it okay. didn't turn out yeah. let's take a quick poll raise your hand if you want him to add rye yeah yeah, yeah. okay <laughs> You don't have to. People raise their hands. <laughs> a dash or a... Oh, whoa, whoa. He did at least a quarter ounce. Or up to a quarter ounce. Give it a little swirl. All right. Somebody be Doesn't on the bad. quick dial the 911. You always say rye makes everything better. It's actually not bad. Let us know what you think. Would you add rye to this? It takes the liquor smell away. Makes it different. Yeah. Actually, it's not bad at all. No, it's not. <laughs> Dang it. Told you. All right, so tell us now what you think. Now let's add Angusto or bitters. Make sure, make sure you have a um, great weekend lined up for yourself. Enjoy the weekend here in Texas. It has been freezing cold, and now it's summertime all in the past 24 hours. Yeah. Um, so hopefully you are having a great weekend, getting ready for the holidays. Get out there and get your Christmas shopping. If you're sending us anything, we like uh, whiskey. I like Isla. Joking. <laughs> Cody's like, what? What? She's uh, too tired, man. Have a great weekend. Check out all of our other videos and make sure that you're also tuning in each night for our daily advent calendar upload. We'll be on day 10 tonight or today. Tonight. It'll be later tonight. And then um, in the weekend, 11 and 12. Have a great weekend. Merry Christmas if we don't see you. Hit that like and subscribe. And. Our whole Christmas is just about getting more bottles for the show. So, yeah. of course, we're going to be here on Christmas. See what kind of weirdness we get. <laughs> Cheers. Bye.